boys and girls. In this video, we are going to design and color in our Native American shirts. So what you're gonna need for this project is going to be um, this, which you got electronically. You don't have to print it out like I have it here. And then your shirt that you designed the other week. So Native American art has a couple aspects to it. We're going to just disregard this part. That's a uh, rubric for another project. And Native American, especially the Navajo, has these soft shapes. A soft shape is basically a basic shape, but instead of having pointed corners, it has rounded corners. So you might want to take a piece of paper and you might want to just practice drawing some of those soft shapes. So if you would like to, you can even do this on notebook paper. You're just going to practice drawing triangles with rounded corners and you're going to draw squares with rounded corners. And it looks pretty easy. Here's a rectangle. It looks pretty easy to do, but there's a little bit of skill to it. Round out those corners without making them look kind of strange. And then the other thing is called the step pad. And that's right here on the worksheet. A step pad basically begins like a square. You're going to draw just the top and the two sides. And you're not going to close it. You want to make sure it comes to the same like place. You don't want one to be high and the other to be low. So instead of closing it, we're going to draw a shape to the, or a line to the side and align to the other side away from our square. And then you're gonna draw one down and down, making sure that they always are approximately the same length. And then out, out, down, down. And it kind of looks like a big wedding cake after a while. And down and down. And that's how you draw the step pad. So what we're gonna do is we are not going to draw any pictures on here. What we're gonna do is right in the middle as if you got a shirt that says uh, a saying, you're gonna write a sentence. I am Thankful for, like this, and then you're going to fill in the blank. You could put that you're thankful for just about anything, and I think what I'm going to write is my family. And then I'm gonna put my name. I'm gonna put like a little dash here. And I'm gonna put my name. Just like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna draw a picture of my family. I wanna make these Navajo designs. So I'm gonna use step pads and I'm gonna use shapes. And on the back of this worksheet are actually some pretty cool designs. And you could actually see that they are kind of shapes inside of shapes. Well, I can never get the backwards movement of cameras. So you can see there's step heads, there's circles, there's swirls, all different shapes on that worksheet. And I'm going to put a step head right near the collar. You could put a step head down here. But your project has to have a step pad and it has to have only shapes, no images. So we're going to go out, out, down, down, out, out, down, down, out, out, down, down, out, out, down, down, 
and look, I'm uneven. We'll sneak one in there. And you see how nicely that makes a border. And I think I'm going to put another step pad in here. Oh boy, am I crooked. See, this is where working with pencil will definitely be a benefit for you. You want to just do one at a time. I will try to do this cool swirl here. So I'm going to make my circle. And instead of closing the circle, I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to keep on going in. And then that swirl has another swirl kind of coming out. So I'm just going to hook right out. And when I'm ready to color, I'll be able to color that design just like that and then I maybe can do some diagonal lines just like in the image but maybe I'll make mine go all different directions and then that way I'll be able to see what areas need to be colored I want to do two different colors coming into each other. So I should have some design down on the bottom. Did I draw a picture of the family that I'm thankful for? I did not. Did I draw a picture of a turkey or a Native American or put feathers on it? I did not. Native American art is actually mostly designs. It's very unusual to see actual images. Hey guys, so I'm back and through the magic of video, I have all of the designing done on my shirt. Of course, yours is not going to look like mine. You could use any uh, combination of the step head or those soft shapes that you want. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to color. Uh, we're going to use crayons. We're not going to use markers to color this. Um, and when we color, I would like us following those five rules of coloring. So we are going to make sure we are staying in the lines, that we are using small strokes to color in. It does not make sense to use big strokes to color in small areas like this. We are going to uh, just color in one direction. So when I'm coloring my step pet, I'm coloring up and down for these sections. And then as I go to the sideways ones, I'm going to switch to sideways. We are making sure that we have no white spots in our coloring. And then, of course, the last one, which is the most important one, is take your time. So we want to make sure that we are taking time and coloring our projects in. What I do not want to see is, let's say... We have our step pad here, and I'm just going to draw very quickly a step pad, just half of it actually. Let's say we've got our nice step pad that we've got all designed. I do not want to see coloring like this. If I see coloring like this, where you're ignoring your design instead of coloring in and following the beautiful design that you took time, uh, I'm going to send it back to you and I'm going to tell you that you need to redo it and that you need to make sure that you are coloring in and that you are following your designs. I did not take my time to draw this design only to just completely disregard it whenever I color it in. So please make sure that you are taking your time coloring these in. Um, just because whenever we hand projects in that we just get that passing grade automatically does not mean that you're not going to get your project back. Um, and I'm going to be very adamant because I've seen some of the coloring in second grade this year, um, and not just from our online students, but just so I see people coloring things in and not taking their time 
and that's just not right. You know better by the time you get in second grade. Mrs. Lazar is, I love to have fun with you guys, but I don't want to see you making projects that are just a waste of the materials. So we're going to pick colors, and uh, let's pretend like I've colored this in. And of course, we want to follow those designs. And you're going to take your time coloring this in. And I am going to uh, quickly color this and show you what it looks like when it's done. And as you can see, I'm already done. And here is my beautiful shirt design. Um, there's one last element that I need to add in. And I forgot to tell you about this in the beginning where we were designing. Um, I would also like your shirt to have either zigzags or X's or both somewhere on the shirt. A zigzag is simply a series of diagonal lines and they almost make like a triangle shape, except of course there's no bottom to them. So these are zigzags and then X's of course, you know how to make the letter X. Um, a lot of our Native American uh, artwork has zigzags and X's. They're just types of lines that Native American art oftentimes uses. And I think what I'm going to do is I will include those just a little bit behind the sleeves. Um, I'm going to put X's. You, of course, do not have to make your design look exactly like mine. You do not want to design out to the edge of your sleeves and that is for one good reason. And the reason is that just on the sleeves we are going to cut some fringes and we're just going to make little cuts about like that far apart or less into the shirt. I don't want to go over where I've made my X's because that'll destroy all that beautiful work that I've done. And of course, I'll rough them up a little bit and you can see how neat that looks. And then of course the other sleeve as well. And if you were doing this as an in-person student, what I would do is I would have you design both the front and the back of your shirt. And we would hang these up in the second grade hallway using uh, clothespins and some uh, raffia bows on them. And they would look really pretty. They would have your um, I, what I'm thankful for message of course, the Native Americans played a huge part in the Thanksgiving story, um, but the Thanksgiving story is not their story. The, the story goes on, and we did cover that a little bit in previous weeks. So uh, I can't wait to see what your project looks like when it's done. Snap a picture and put it in the Google Doc, um, and take your time doing this. Don't feel like you have to do it just in one sitting. This might take a little while for you to be finished. So, okay, happy crafting, and you guys have a great um, week ahead, and have some fun doing your project. Bye!